it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Dark Souls 3. The 100% in fact. You heard that right. We're going to be 100%ing this video game. Cindy is also here. <laughs> but Cindy will talk only if she's going to scream into the mic because she's on the floor and the mic's not going to pick it up. So she has to scream at the top of her lungs. That's just the way that it be. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, let's switch our little souls ring. We don't need this no more. What else do we have? we got to have a better ring. Maximum HP, restores HP, increases HP restored with Estus Flask. Increases physical damage absorption. Increases maximum load. Talk about when you go to Taco Bell. Uh, fallen foes are more likely to drop items, absorb HP from each defeated foe, boost attack when HP is low. Oh yeah, one of these is really good. Boost attacks as long as attacking persists. Pontiff's right eye, that's actually probably amazing. So now when we attack, um, our damage continually increases, which is good for this uh, specific weapon here. Farron's great sword because you continually attack. Um, okay. So, I don't like this area. It's very confusing and very labyrinthine. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of uh, crystal lizards freaking everywhere to kill. And, yeah, it's just a bit of a nightmare to 100%. I feel like I say that a lot, but it is nevertheless the key. What is that giant body up there? Oh, it's a waxman. It's Big Body Ben featuring Big Booty Beth. All right, so we're, yeah, forgive me if we navigate a lot of passages back to back to back to back. Um, this is just a really annoying place to navigate, as I said, and to get all the items. There's an item up there, which we have to remember, which we might be able to grab actually right now. Haha. -ha. Titanite scale. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to make sure that we don't see any area that's closed off. We're going to make sure that we don't see any area that we can go to. What I'm trying to say is we're going to try to make sure that we go to every area, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we're going to dip our head in wax, because if we dip our head in wax, um, these books will not attack us. Otherwise, the books will attack us. Not these books here. These books are fine. Also, notice this is probably going to move here. A lot of shifting bookcases and things all over the place. But yeah, we're going to dip our head in wax again to reset it. Uh, yeah, so if we dip our head in wax, there's these books that will reach out and try to grab us a la Harry Potter. And they will not do so while our head is dipped in wax. So that is what the wax does. If anyone's ever played this game and been like, what the heck did the wax do? Well, there you go. Now you know. Because it's not a super short show. So see, these hands will grab you, but if you've got the wax on your head, they don't care. Well, they care, but they're not going to do anything about it. Okay, one crystal lizard there. Is that another crystal lizard? Yep. There's like a million crystal lizards here, by the way. So we really have to be careful to get every single one. Uh, that's two crystal lizards. And we gotta make sure to watch when this wax is uh, removed from our head. Because then we will be grabbed by the ghoulies. And we don't want that to happen. No sorry, Bob. Up the stairs we go. Also, we want to kill that crystal lizard as quickly as possible. Uh, wait, what the heck? Oh, what? That was super weird. What is Cindy? Cindy's gonna say something. He dipped his head in wax and then he wipe off his eyes. Can this man see? Uh, nope. Wait, why can't I walk on to these guys? What? That's very bizarre. Am I just used to playing Lords of the Fallen? That's probably what it is. It's probably a different lock on mechanic. Okay, so yeah, there's also a crystal, uh, sage. Uh, teleporting around the map. We want to kill the Crystal Sage. They're on the they're on the thing up there, as you can see. Uh, we want to kill them ASAP because we will get a scroll that we can give to Orbeck of Vinheim. That's another thing that we want to do. We're going to kick down this ladder, which, is, which will serve as a shortcut. We want to also make sure that this ladder is not going to go to anywhere we have not been just yet, which it looks like it hasn't. Also, you might notice there's another item on the uh, top right. Yeah, right there. We want to make sure we get that as well. And we want to make sure we just look around. Oh, there's a crystal lizard over there. 
Yep, so many freaking things that you gotta watch out for in the very, very, very close... Oh, no, and he's gonna disappear, too. That's not good. Okay, if we get right there, I gotta remember to, like, reset the... In fact, I think I'm gonna do that here, just so that when we get... When we get near the, uh, spot where he just disappeared, we will be able to, um... Um, get him. So let's go ahead and reload that. Ooh, sabi boo. Yeah, so he should be down there again. I don't want to trigger him. If I go over here, he should be cool, right? Cool. We can probably shoot him as well. We're just going to go on our merry way. So item up there. Item down there. Crystal is. we got three things to remember. Otherwise, we are good to continue. Uh, let's go over here. Is this where we came up from? This is where we came up from. So yeah, if I get confused during this episode, just just be understanding that there's like 15,000 things I have to keep in mind. It is a very... Whoa, 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 uh, So yeah, the hands... Oh, what? Oh, did we not kill that crystal lizard? What the heck? Blink, blink, tightening. Yeah, there's like 15,000 things to keep in mind, so if I get confused, just keep in mind that's why. I'm going to try to grab every single thing. Horn bones there. We got some creepy crawlies over there. Okay, that's like four items now that we gotta remember to get. I think there's a ladder here. There is indeed a ladder here. Let's see. Oh, I got a cough coming. I'm gonna mute my mic real quick. Let's see if we can't kill this crystal lizard. Oh, wait, what? Why is it full HP now? What the heck? Why is it full HP? That's so weird. I thought it retains the da Oh, maybe it, if you reset the... Okay, that's not good at all. Uh, maybe if we reset the, um... There's so much stuff happening. Holy moly! Sir, I'm gonna need you to stop, little man. Play more Oh god, no. This is way better. This is not even... Cindy was saying, are you playing Lords of the Fallen? Because there's all this crap happening. Which, uh, I'm not a fan of Lords of the Fallen, personally. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on in that game. But, um... Ooh, oh, God. No, 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 no. Really need my head dipped in wax here. Okay, we're gonna pull this lever. And I'm gonna be real, I have no idea what the lever does. It probably moves a bookcase below us. That's probably what it does. Okay, there's an item there. There's still that other crystal. Oh, God, my things are just done. And by how many things I gotta remember here. Whew! Okay, that's fine. We'll make do. If I'm missing anything, I can always go back and double check. Alright, let's head up here. And then we're gonna kill this mole here who's shooting wax at us. And then this is going to allow us, I believe, to drop down and get an item. Yes, indeed. Titanite scale. Okay, we're gonna heal here. And then we're gonna roll down here and get this item as well. Cool. So that takes out two of the items we had to worry about. The Avalon, which is a reference to the, uh... Dark Souls 1 Duke's Archives. I believe that's where you get the Avalon. You get it on top of the uh, bookshelves as well. Okay, we're going to roll down here. Going to heal. We got three heals left. Unfortunately, I'm really good at this game, but you have to use so many heals whilst exploring. Like, that's the, that's the bad thing. If you're trying to go for all the items, that's where you end up using all of your heals, which is really fun. But I digress. And what we really want to do is get that Crystal Sage killed. So that A, he's not firing crap at us, and B, we can mark away that as being done. Because otherwise we're going to have to reload. I'm going to dip my head in wax here. Hopefully the animation gives us some iframes, which it does. Okay, we're going to roll. Oh my god. Not good, not good, not good. Heal. Okay. Nice throw, little guy. Nice throw. And now you die. Nice throw as well. Got one more heal. Gonna roll the firebomb, gonna L1, down he goes, we're gonna grab this, tighten that chunk. We're gonna re-dip our head in wax. Come on, quickly now, quickly now, my friend, quickly now. Quickly now, you must be hasty. Okay, now if we can get up to this freaking crystal sage, that would be crystal sick. Let's head up here. Yeah, you remember the Crystal Sage was a boss a long, long time ago. We fought the Crystal Sage, don't you know? He was a big pain in the hole The day the Crystal Sage died 
he was singing bye bye Mr. Marathon. Throw my fairy to the baby, but the baby was trying. How did that miss this guy? Excuse me? Alright, final heal here. Uh, now we're in a really bad spot. We gotta try to unlock a bonfire or do something in order to get us relegated back to being fine. Oh, God, there's books on the ground, so not good. We gotta keep moving here and grab the tight head scale. The ultimate funny thing is, like, all this crap we're grabbing is completely useless. Is this an illusory wall? I was gonna say, that looks like an illusory wall. Isn't it? All right. Um, oh boy. Okay, uh, let's just go for it without overthinking it. This guy's gonna be rough, but not if I roll correctly. Stay behind him, probably. Okay, I'm gonna roll that. We gotta watch out for the books, but we still have a wax head, so we should be relatively okay. Okay, let's do an L1 here. I'm gonna try to just tank through this. We're also about to be frostbitten. Yep, and we are dead. Dead it. Dead it. Dead it. Dead it. Well. Alright, so we still got Crystal Lizard. We've got Illusory Wall. We've got Crystal Sage. We've got. Yeah, you can see why I find this place annoying as heck to go through. Have you unlocked this elevator yet? So there's an elevator over here that's a shortcut. How many embers do we have? Seven? Alright, we're gonna use one here. Okay, so we unlocked a ladder that's pretty close to the start of this area, so this shouldn't be too bad of a death. We do want to grab... Oh, yeah, let's go for the crystal save as well. Heal as we can. So with that Pontiff's left eye, the more damage we deal, the more damage we stack. So as, as we're dealing damage, we deal even more and more and more damage that compounds on itself. Which is good with this weapon because we deal like a little L1. Oh, how dare you? How dare you, sir, frankly. Okay, let's run past all this crap we've already dealt with. And then we've got that item on the roof as well. We should dip our head in the wax when we can also. And run to this ladder. Let's head up here. The Crystal Sage should be here, so we should be able to get more damage on him. We're going to try to bait out an attack before he tries to leave. And let's do some more Elrons here. Ooh, can we get him? Can we get him? Can we get him? Oh, so close. I think we got him. Yeah, so if you kill the Crystal Sage, you get the Crystal Scroll. Oh, and if you try to roll this wax crap, you can't end up doing that. So we're going to heal here. Okay. All right. Pretty good. So we got the Crystal Scrolls. That's done. Let's get rid of this man. I think what we want to do is basically get as much verticality as we can and then look down and try to basically just pinpoint items that we're still looking for. I feel like that's a better solution than just trying to worry about all of the items we're going to end up missing. We still got a little thief up there. We're going to heal there. We're going to roll. Uh, these guys are so wild. But we get a plunging attack on them. Excellent. We get the Thrall Axe. That's right. They're called Thralls. Damn boy, it's called Thralls. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got to be very, very, very careful here. Um, since uh, these books will come out and we do not have our face waxed. Alright, got the Boreal Valley dude again. I'm gonna grab my souls, because it was a decent amount of stuff. Oh, okay, I'm gonna back up here. Thrust it. Okay. And something just disconnected and is throwing my recording off, which hopefully doesn't... Oh, boy. Alright, um, we're about to get frostbitten. Oh, not good. Heal twice, please. Thank you. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa,
which we're gonna have to keep track of. And the lever, whatever the lever did. I think the lever moved a bookcase that I'm gonna have to check on the bottom floor, but if we die, we'll go back and check that. We can run over here now. And uh, yeah, unfortunately this route completely bypasses all the heads and wax situation, which is unfortunate. So up we go. Notice the crystal uh, sage is not spawning also. Okay, up we go up here. And then I think we're gonna try to bypass these guys and run directly into the Erethil Warrior, whatever this guy's called. Boreal Valley. Erethil Valley? Boreal Valley? Whatever this dude's called. Ah, I'm trying to parry him there. Okay, let's heal. Roll. Okay, we're gonna charge an R2 here. Big damage, hopefully. Yeah. Thankfully, a charged R2 deals something, man. The freaking Lord's the ball. You charge an R2, you might as well just do an R1. Okay, no! Heal here. Shouldn't heal twice, honestly. Yeah, I don't know why I'm having a tough time finding these guys. They usually don't have this much trouble. But they usually give you rewards, and yeah, we get the Outrider set, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna roll into these here. Uh, stuff Detritus to see if there's any hidden chests lying around. I'm surprised I knew that that was going to be a, uh, a illusory wall. Soul Stream Sorcery. Just looks very much like an illusion. Anything that looks like this, you basically want to hit to see if it's an illusory wall, pretty much. If it definitely appears as if it's going to be the case. Okay, so I think we're done with this room. Uh, and yeah, anything we end up missing, I will double check with the checklist and go back and nab. Uh, oh man, what is with that? Yeah, the double stop. It's so weird. Okay, let's roll into this. I think I can see an item. Titanite scale indeed. And then, is this a... Okay, so we're going to go down here real quick. And then what floor are we on? Because there's an item here, which means we haven't been here yet. Shriving Stone. Still got the lever that moved probably a bookcase on the floor. Go across the bridge there to something that's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Now what we're going to do is we're going to walk up slowly to this guy and try to get a backstab on him real quick. So let's just time this correctly because he will turn around, I believe. Yep. A one and a two and a three and a four and a five. And down he goes. Unfortunately, if he had an item, we'd have to reload to see. In fact, what is the point of this guy? What is the point of this guy? He's just kind of staring out here. Huh. Interesting. Do 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 do. I mean that wire is just very finicky. It's like freezing my game every time that happens. Um, I'll unplug it. Yeah, basically we have a cat cam that, like, the wire, I don't know what it is with the USB, but the wire is, like, incredibly finicky. Okay, so let's uh, actually quit the game here. We're going to quit and reload just to see if this dude drops something. I find it very weird that there's just some random guy standing there. Who doesn't actually have anything. Kind of bizarre, if you ask me. And also on PC, Dark Souls 3 loads up incredibly quick. So yeah, if you do that, you, you can see this guy reloads. Um, which is a little tip, by the way. Why is this guy out here? Alone. I guess he's just doing his thing. Fair enough. I ain't judging him. He can do whatever the heck he wants. Whatever the heck he wants. Now the question is, how do we get to the... Okay, so if we pull this lever, can we see anything change? So one of my, like, things of game design is that if you, if you pull a lever or something, you should be able to see what it does. Uh, I, I'm not a game designer, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like that's a thing that should happen. Like, you can see what, you know, changes when you pull something. So, I'm gonna look down and try to see. We still got that crystal lizard. I'll probably come back and get him, because I have no idea how to get him right now. And then there's the head of... There's the wax thing. Now, if we fall down there, is that where the crystal lizard is? Oh, that is where the crystal lizard is. Okay. Yeah, let's go get... Go ahead and get him done. He's going to be really annoying to try to track down. Even though we're not going to end up using the Titanite scales whatsoever, but hey. Alright, now. Did we move any... Did we move any of these... I feel like we must have moved some of these bookshelves. Yeah, like this right here. Yep, see, so that bookshelf went down. 
And it re has revealed... Reveal it! This chest here, which gives us a Titanite slab. Oh, that's right. This is the game that gives you like 15,000 Titanite slabs. Okay, cool. So there's that. And then we pulled like another lever, so there's probably another lever, so there's probably another bookshelf somewhere that revealed something. I just don't know where it is. You gents could excuse me real quick. Maybe over here? Perhaps over this way. Yeah, I feel like they're on the bottom floor, all the stuff that gets moved around. But I'll probably just double check the checklist and make sure I have it all. Just because it's going to be quite annoying to try and find here. Okay, so... Is this a dead end? How do I get out of this situation? Ow, ow! Oh my god! Okay, here, boy. Get the heck? You a crazy boy! You a crazy boy rushing me like that! What the heck? Okay, well, the one thing we can do is we can do this. Yeah. Absolutely destroy these guys. Let's go put our head in wax real quick. Do that. Get some iframes here. Delicious, delicious wax. Yeah, if we could find out what other... Oh, maybe this? I feel like we didn't do this room. Actually, I think that we did. Okay, there's like three or four secrets or so. Hmm. But I'm going to assume we got everything up to this point. Alright, so there's the ladder moving us up here. We still got that item on the roof as well, but is there anything else we need to remember? Item on the roof. How do we get the item on the roof? Hopefully, things will become clear as we navigate through this zone. Alrighty then. So, now we move back to the left over this way. And we've got this squad here. We've got the uh, Bora, th Bora whatever, Chlorophyll Knight, whatever the heck it is. His name is back there. Alright, I think we're coming up to one of the worst things in the entire game. Uh, so, this will be really fun. Um, this, if I remember right, let's see. Oh, right, okay, so we get the shortcut, excellent. Yeah, so I think the shortcut leads back to the starting bonfire, but there is a, um, who boy? Who freaking boy? If you know, you know, the gang squad. Uh, okay, so let's, wait, where does this go? I forget. Got a lever here, which will be, oh, move a bookcase. Okay, and then this goes back down to the first floor where... Got the, the first floor where the bonfire lies to the left. Yes, is that where we are? That is where we are. Okay, because there's another shortcut with an elevator over there, but we have not activated that yet. So, let's go back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. We're going to go back to the Firelink Shrine. Yeah, you gotta take it. If you had one shot, you could not. All right, let's see. Do we have any souls to use? When I get them to the ring. When I get them toes to squeeze. Boom. Let us use these. And let us use these. Oh, so many souls, my god. Welcome, host. Hello. Can I level up, please? So, Vigor's probably good. Our health bar is super big. Attunement, whatever. Endurance is probably good. Vitality, strength is still increasing our damage by quite a bit, right? Yeah. Quite a bit, indeed. By three and then by four, it looks like. Farewell, so let's level up twice me. there. We still got our wax head here. And we are going to teleport back to the Grand Archives. So, all right, racking my brain for what we still have to keep an eye out for. Uh, there's that item on the roof. There is the second lever, which might have opened something. I still am unsure. I still am unsure about that. But, we, yeah, we pulled a second lever that might have opened something. I don't really know. But either way, okay, we got a shortcut over here with these thralls. Which we're going to try to just run past because the elevator should be down already. So let's do that. Is there a... Is, I feel like there might be an elevator secret. Hmm. Alright, let's run into this. And then run back out. Is there like an elevator secret with it? I feel like there is actually. Hold the freaking phone. 
Because you can see you can almost jump on top of that, right? But that goes nowhere. All right, wait. I'm going to check something real quick. I swear to God, I could be crazy. Because, yeah, you can definitely jump on top of that. That goes nowhere. So if we ride this down, we got to watch out for the thralls as well. And then if we roll on that and let it go back up, is there going to be something that comes from the bottom? No. Interesting. It might be the other. Yeah, in fact, I think it is the other elevator. Now that I'm thinking, of, now that I'm thinking about, it, I feel like there is definitely a secret, but it might be the other, ele the other elevator that is near the, um, near the starting bonfire, for this area. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's the case. Again, anything we miss will be checked, so it's all good. All right, now, uh, so we came from the bridge, which was over here. Let's take a quick peek down to just see if we can see any items or anything we may have missed. Just to make this a little bit easier. I am not seeing anything, although maybe it's a chest that we missed. Maybe there was like a lever we pulled that revealed like a chest. Mm, but it's not looking like it. Alright, so here we go. We are now coming up until the horrible part, I think. Because I remember crossing that bridge many, many, many times. I could be wrong, however. Yeah, in fact, I could definitely be wrong here. Because this is not what I expected to find. Okay, we do not want that curse meter fill all the way up. Oh my god, oh my god, don't try to double- oh, Are you serious? Holy moly, that was- that was scary. Okay, yeah, we do not want that curse meter to fill up. If the curse meter fills up, um, we get cursed. I don't think it's nearly as bad in Dark Souls 3. Oh, God. Okay. Not even try to do that. But it is very, very, very bad all the same. Very bad. Also, there's a chest over here in the corner, which is going to contain three Titanite scales. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of Titanite scales. Uh, do we have the thing that removes curse buildup? What is that even? Is it purging stone? Yeah. Okay, so let's use one of these. Halloween. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, I may have messed up the true ending. Oh, no. Uh... That's not good. At a level 102. Curse, two minute slots. Oh, do we not have a hollowing stat anymore? Oh no. So, I may have ruined the, the, the true ending here, which really sucks for a 100% playthrough. I mean, it's not the end of the world because at the end of the day, we can't get another ending. Huh. I've never done that before. That's actually quite weird. I mean, sure, I could do the true, I could, like, record the true ending, but it won't be. Um, yeah, I've streamed it. Yeah, so Cindy, yeah, so Cindy's saying we can show the true ending, which, yeah, definitely is the case, but I'm just trying to wonder if that's going to ruin anything. Okay, that really sucks. So basically what happened there, for anybody not understanding, is, um... So we went through all the stuff in the early game to get the true ending, get the hollowing and become the Lord of Londor and the Lord of Darkness and all that crap. And then I forgot... Wow, and it doesn't even do what I thought. Reduces undead curse buildup and cures hollowing. Where's the... So what cures the... So I was getting cursed there, and I wanted to use one of those purging stones, but it removes hollowing, which is not good because we need to be hollowed times eight or whatever to have the dark sigils. Oh, wait. So is my dark sigil... Or wait. Hold on. Do I still have the... Wait. I still have the dark sigils. Okay. I'm confused. If anybody knows in the comment section below, let me know um, if we are effed or if we are not effed. I'm kind of confused because we still have the dark sigils, but we cured our hollowing. Which is just how we look, right? 
So now if I take off the mask, we should look at look like a dude. And not like a zombie. Yeah. Okay, I'm confused. Yeah, if anybody in the comment section knows, uh, let me know. Um, did I just mess up the true ending? I, I'm guessing I didn't, considering we still have the eight dark sigils. Okay, anyways, we'll move on. Um, yeah, that... Uh, yeah, because the purging stone just acts like the purging stone from the DLC of the, the second DLC. So it should be okay? I think... I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, it's gargoyle time. Uh, let's go ahead and whack this guy to death here. Uh, these guys are all over the freaking place now. Where did he go? Hello. Can give you some of the L1 here. You are a tank boy. You're a tank boy, but so am I. So am I, you see. King. Come on, man. You're a giant gargoyle. What the heck do you have to block for? Let's grab that titanite chunk. And then we gotta check the edges to make sure there's no, like... Oh, what's... Okay, interesting. So you can go on that banister and then see that one dude that's overlooking the cliff. Is there anything up the banister, though? Yeah, this is where things get very confusing platforming wise but if I try to even get over there I'm just gonna die okay so this I believe is where that one item is which would be a perfect ending spot because that's I believe every single thing that I should have been keeping track of uh, we can also drop down there what is down there though we got some dudes Do we have any what is that hmm. let's stay on the rooftop for now yeah I feel like um, you know the high ground we can go from high to low when we want Let's stay up here for now. Let's just remember there is that thing that we can drop down to. Another gargoyle. We'll roll his attacks. We're going to charge up a mega R2. Do a ton of damage. Roll that. No. L1. L1. Oh, he just killed himself. I think. Nope, he fell on the lower floor. I believe he can fly back up here. We'll let him do his thing, though. We'll let him just chill. Soul of a weary warrior. And we got a couple of crystal lizards over here as well. Okay, that's one crystal lizard dead. Let the other one go, though. Uh, looks like he just. He's trying to get this gargoyle killed. We're both kind of whiffing here. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Big boy! But it's not big enough, I'm afraid. What it is. I don't know. Don't ask me. All right. So, oh, so many paths to go. Let's go to the end of this, which now should be above where we started. There's the item on the rooftop that we saw previously. It's just a titanite chunk. Who even cares? Oh, and another gargoyle. Okay, let's heal. Two gar... Are you... Okay. This is getting pretty good to fall now. Two gargoyles, huh? Guess it makes sense. Harkening back to Dark Souls One. Okay, let's just try to L one our way out of here. They're both pretty low now. Roll that and heal here. Okay, I have no idea where the other guy went. Try to get this guy killed. Down goes one gargoyle. What do you have for me, sir? Anything? Not even a drop. Uh, what is down there? Oh my god, there's so many different paths to take down. My brain is getting deleted as we speak. Oh boy! Yeah, Grand Archives, man. Grand freaking Archives. Very, very, very tricky. I think this is where you started? I'm gonna fall down here. Grab the Gargoyle Flame Spear. Uh, we've got a, an ember there. we got to remember there's that one um, crystal lizard at the top of the roof as well. We're going to kill that guy. We're going to grab the undead bone shard. Ooh, nice. And we're going to kick down this ladder here. And this basically is just a little shortcut. Now, this should wrap back around. We're going to dip our head in wax again. Should wrap back. Oh, my God. There's so many paths to take now. I don't even know where to start. 
What is back? Oh, yes. Okay, this right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that right there. Oh my god, that is the um, outside. Yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna save that for the next episode. That is uh, that's the scary room. We're gonna save the scary room. We're gonna we're gonna save the scary room. We're not gonna deal with that today. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's see if we can parry him here. Oh, you're gonna buff? You just think I'm gonna sit there while you buff? That ain't gonna happen. Okay, let's back up here. Let's heal. All right, hit me. Hit me again. Bet you won't. Bet you won't. Bet you won't. All right, I'll hit you. Hi. Right, yeah. Okay, let's heal twice here. Oh god, plus the scary. Okay, L1. Again it goes. See if he drops anything. Large Titanite shard. And then if we go back out here, we got another item, Titanite Chunk. And then, so there is where we would have dropped down, but then, okay, so, oh man, I'm gonna rack my brain for what we have. So we's, we've got to drop back down to where that gargoyle dropped down, check that place out. And then we have to deal with the scary room. And then, yeah, let's re-dip our head in wax. So am I missing anything else? I feel like there was two to three other rooms that we got to check to. Let's heal here. And then I think this will be a good spot to end. We'll end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to support the video, you will see more episodes faster. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.